Florida property tax bills have just gone out and you may be wondering, is this valuation correct? And is there anything I can do to lower my taxes? I'm going to tell you why your property valuation is so high this year, whether or not you can change it, and how to get the most out of your homestead exemption using portability when you buy a new home. If you're a resident, you probably already know that you can homestead your property, and I will link below information on that process for anyone new to the game. This saves you a lot of money because your taxable value is capped at a 3% increase or the CPI, whichever is lower. In 2022, the Consumer Price Index, or CPI, was really high at 7%, and so the 3% cap was the maximum increase of your assessed value and much higher than usual. If your property is not homesteaded, it's most likely because it's a second home and the taxable value is capped at a 10% increase and that's a lot, but as you can see from this graph, still not as much as the actual increase in market value for homes in 2022. If you think your property valuation is too high, there are actionable steps that you can take and your window of opportunity is the second week in August when trim notifications go out. It's not a bill, but it's the basis for what your property tax will be. The assessed value is what you wanna pay attention to, unless you just bought the home and this is your first trim notice. In this case, the just value is important. You only have about 25 days from the time the trim notices go out in order to file your dispute. And the easiest way to do that is online. After that, you'll have the opportunity to meet with the assessor's office to see if you can come to a resolution in regard to valuation informally. It's possible that a correction is made at that time, or you can elect for a hearing with the Value Adjustment Board. If you continue on to a hearing, you can have an attorney or another professional like an appraiser to represent you. It's critical to support all of your claims with the documentation that is stipulated in advance of the hearing. Now let's switch gears and talk about how you can save tax dollars when buying a house. If you're selling one Florida home that's been your homestead and moving to another, you can take your accumulated homestead credit with you up to a half a million dollars, and that's a big savings. It's called portability, but it doesn't happen automatically. You have to file for it, and you have a window of about two to three years, depending upon when you close. In Florida, we're taxed on about 89% of our actual home value, and we're in about the middle of the pack in ranking property taxes by state from high to low. Saving you money is just one way your real estate advisor can be of service. And as always, whatever your real estate needs may be, I'd love to be here for you.